Okay, I have my microphone on right here, so hopefully the sound is good. Hi, Allegra here. It's funny, I actually was looking through some of my older videos and it made me laugh because I would introduce myself by saying, Hi, Allegra, choosing happiness one project at a time in all my videos. And uh, <laughs> it just, I don't know why I'm thinking about that right now. It makes me laugh. I don't do that anymore. It just seems kind of stiff. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong about that. But anyway, that's just a little quick side. So uh, I am inside. It's a little icky outside today. It was snowing this morning. It's very beautiful, but it's cold. And my kids and I have been sick. And now my husband is starting to feel sick. So we're just going to take it easy. And I wanted to share with you a little project that I'm doing. So I focus on the homesteading, the chickens, the garden on this channel. But as another little part of this channel, I share what my artwork with you because I am an artist. And part of this kind of big project that I'm working on is this homestead, this farm, and then making a book, making my artwork out of it. So um, I wanted to share this watercolor piece and I'll, I'll tell you the technicals about it if you're interested, the watercolor paints that I'm using, the paper and everything. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you, I have this little sketchbook here. It's really nice. I think I got it at either Friday, not Friday, Day Harbor. Oh my gosh. What am I talking about? Friday Lobby. Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Hobby Lobby or Michael's one of those. Um, and it's really nice. I, I started the first page here. This is just kind of like the intro page and making sure that you can see. It's the basically Rose Hill Farm and the Brown family story. Whoops. Um, and so this will be kind of like my sketchbook and the ideas that I have in here will be moved over to larger pieces. So this is a series and I have this piece here. Um, I have my water here and then I have my watercolor palette here. I'm only using three different colors. So if you're interested, I have the Van Gogh Royal Talons um, Payne's Gray. Whoops, it's hard to focus. Uh, Sorry about that. I can't really, and my hands are full, but um, it's number 708 if you're interested. Uh, I'm barely using any of that, like very, very little of that. The main colors I'm using are the Windsor Newton, and these are watercolors, Windsor Newton Sepia and Windsor Newton Indigo. So Sepia and Indigo for the Windsor Newton uh, watercolor tubes are what I'm using. Uh, I'm using like a number four or a number six brush watercolor brush and then the paper is the Strathmore 130 pound cold pressed archival quality professional quality paper I'll put um, I'll put a link below I have no affiliations with any of these companies so this is just what I like and uh, I make no money or anything like that from these companies so I uh, let's see I got all the technicals out as far as the materials that I'm using <laughs> this right here is a photograph that I took. Let me make sure you can see. It's just a photograph that I took. It's on my computer Ow, of an owl here on our property. So I'm just using that as a reference to map out this owl. Once I get kind of the general idea mapped out and everything that I want on this picture or on this painting, I try not to look at the photograph because... In my opinion, oh, you need to drink some water, please. I hear hiccups. In my opinion, if you um, if you copy a picture too much, it's fine at first, but you know if you're just trying to get practice and everything. But if you look at the picture too much, I think it makes it look really stiff. So once I get all the mapping down, you're, you'll see me reference the photograph. But then as I move on with my own piece i try to do all the details from my imagination from my memory and things that i think where where i think things should be and stuff like that so um if you are oh let's not pull on that <laughs> hold on i gotta check and make sure you guys let's not pull on the string this microphone i need like a wireless microphone because 
Oh, I guess you guys didn't pull it down too much. Oopsies, we got all tangled up with the microphone here. But uh, I was going to say, whoops, check out my website. And then I would highly encourage you to follow me on Instagram. Hey, guys, can you quiet down just for a second? I'm almost done. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see more really quick uh, videos of things that we do around here. Uh, it's really easy, and I'll put the links below. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the time lapse on this, and you can watch the creation of this. So that should be kind of fun, hopefully. Hopefully it's fun. <laughs> All right, I am going to try to stay focused. I, I can hear my roosters crowing in the background. Not sure if you all can. But while I do this painting, you can watch. Uh, it's not going to be finished for this video, but I will have it. I'll, ha I'll show you the finished piece um, in hopefully in about a week or two. So what I want to talk about really quick, just in, in passing, because I want to do a video about this. And, and the, the, the this is... Uh, talking about artificial intelligence and how it's going to affect art and there's so much that I do not know about it but if you're not familiar artificial intelligence and art I mean it's artificial intelligence is going to affect I mean everything so what does that mean for art and there are many, many concerns. I think there are going to be some positives, but there's also going to be some real uh, consequences to this. So uh, I will be talking about that very soon. And uh, I think it's, a, it's an important topic to discuss, especially, I mean, I think it's going to affect every industry, really. So I'm not, I don't fear it for my own personal work, just because my art is more personal and it's almost there's an aspect to being an artist or at least the type of artist that I am where people who buy my work are buying like a piece of me or a piece of my story. So anyway, that's I just wanted to mention mention that. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for AI <laughs> discussions in art. Also, uh, please check out my website. I'm I'm still working on it, but uh, you can visit me at Allegra Rose Brown and my Instagram, Allegra Rose Brown. Have a good day.